Hello world, welcome back to Agile on the Trail. I'm your host, Voices, and today is Tuesday, September the 5th, making this day 158 on the trail. We got dropped off where we got picked up via hitchhike. Just past the 1900 mile mark again on the bridge, which was in the previous video. We turned down this road. As you can see, there are a couple hikers in front of me. And uh, somebody else did a 1900 mile with uh, some crane apples. I thought that was kind of cute, so I took a picture of it and it'll be right after this clip. The, uh, the stay at the barn hostel was good. I liked it, did a lot of chores. I felt like I did a lot more work yesterday than resting. As a matter of fact, I don't think I rested at all. I mean, maybe my feet, but that's about it. Oh, the list is exhaustive. Um, I did treat my pants, my shoes with permethrin uh, to fend off the ticks in Maine because they are bad from what I heard. This Maine's flooded and wet and ticks are rampant and yeah. Got that done, that was a surprise. I got new trekking poles. These are Ozarks. The old trekking poles, well, they got bent during a shuttle ride. Uh, they were falling apart from being stuck in the vert mud. They were just pulling apart left and right. Even though I glued them together back at Hanover, AKA West Lebanon, when I took a, a full zero, it held for a little bit, but they still just pulled apart. Annoying. So uh, yeah, third set of trekking poles. And that's what I've been told. Hikers usually go through three sets of trekking poles. Did make a reservation at the quote unquote, the cabin in West Andover for Friday. So I got four days to do 40 to 50 miles. And again, I'm in a section where the expectation is to 10 miles a day, average. Well, I did 10 miles on Sunday, two miles on Monday, and uh, yeah, it's 7.30, just going to hike. There's nothing, I'll be honest, there's nothing really special going on at this point in time. Just hike and do miles, get into Maine. Uh, supposedly it's the last Walmart Thank you. Last Walmart that I will see until Katahdin. And then when I'm up and over Katahdin, I can go to any Walmart I want because, you know, I'll be home or access to vehicles, transportation. We'll see. Just depends on shuttle rides and hostels and the services that they provide. It was a good Walmart too. I mean, it's where I got the trekking poles. It's where I got the permethrin. I was surprised that they even carried it. So I snagged it. I'm packed up for four days of food. 40 to 50 miles for the next couple of days. That's the target. Going primal, going beast. Beast mode mean, meaning hike all day, primal. Pretty much camp until I get to, uh, until the, the sun sets, basically. You know, hike and then camp, hike and then camp. Back and forth and back and forth. At least until Friday, and then I got a hostel I can sneak into. Now, if I get there early, I've already confirmed with them that I can get, you know, get a bunk there, like on a Thursday, if need be, if I'm making good miles. The only thing I'm really looking to solve now from hiking is shoes. I still need shoes. Uh, these shoes right here, uh, they're still good, but the soles were wearing down on them. I'm slipping on rock a lot more. Not good. Oh, here's a river view, by the way. I'm not sure what river it is. It's one right by Gorm. And I realized I, I was spelling it wrong. It's G-O-R-H-A-M. Hampshire. Speaking of New Hampshire and stuff, uh, in states, I'll be heading to Maine probably tomorrow. Yep, I'll be in my last state 
for this Appalachian Trail probably tomorrow. And then shortly after that, I have to load up a new map. So I'll be on a new map. The last map. Here's the dam, water reservoir, more of the river, more of the road walk. It's a nice sunny day. Oh, and it's hot. They got a heat wave up here going now. What the heck? Weather can't make up its mind. It's nice and cool at night. But it's been getting up into the 80s again. I didn't think I would see 80s again, but the forecast says in the valleys, expect low 80s and humid. We're gonna be up the mountains. So it's gonna be cooler, breezier, less humid. Still though, I'm gonna sweat out like a stuck pig, like I usually do. All right, I am done rambling for this Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll check in with you later. Yeah, we got a little bit of trail magic or passive trail magic. It's like the bag of candies and stuff. I think we'll put some M&Ms and chow on them. This is always greatly appreciated. Ooh, I'll put some stickers too. All right, trail magic. Trail goes that way. Yay, day starting off great. Hello, everybody. Well. I'm up here at Mount Hayes side trail. Goes that way. The Appalachian Trail sign right there. It says to go that way. I'm gonna go that way. Uh, good start to the day. It's warm, it's humid. Everybody sweated out. There was like four or five people at the last little uh, viewpoint, I'll say. And yeah, they're all sweated out. They're all. <sighs> so yeah, it's all good. I finally found the trail off right there. I almost missed it. Good start to the day. Did uh, 3.6 miles in two hours. It was almost a constant up after the road walk. We're only at like 2,600 elevation feet. Not bad. We're still in the White Mountains National Park. And we're like 13 miles away from the main border. I don't know if I'm going to make the main border today. I'm just going to hike. And when I feel like after the 10 miles that it's, uh, that I, you know, need to hike today, whatever I do after that is whatever I do after that. And, um, you know, when I feel like calling it, I'll call it. If I want to push hard, I'll push hard. And if I feel like I want to conserve, I'll conserve. In short, I'm going to do the 10 miles and then something a little extra. But I'm in no huge rush to try to make big miles right off the bat. Getting out of Maine, getting out of the White Mountains officially. There are no more 4K peaks in New Hampshire. I can tell you that. There are 4K peaks in Maine. Uh, Old Spec will be the first one. And I will have to go up and over that first before I can load up the last map on Far Out which it's like uh, 30 or 40 miles. Woo Slipping and sliding. Okay, well, I am obviously in some wet, slippery, rooty area going down this hill or mountain, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna let, the, uh, let you go and I'll get back with you. Well, when do I get back with you? Hope you guys are having a great Taco Tuesday. Later. Bit of view down into Gorm there. That's where we just came from. Nice, beautiful, warm day in New Hampshire. 
just about to cross in a few miles, relatively speaking, into Maine. Still yet to be determined whether that's today or tomorrow. All right, I'm continuing my hike. Welcome to Page Pond. Looks like a lake to me. All right, I'll admit. What's the difference between a lake and a pond? I need to look that up. Because there is a lake that's about this size called Rose Lake. It's between Old Man's Cave and Cedar Falls on the Ridge Trail. And it's about this size. It's called Rose Lake. So why is this called a pond? I don't know. Anyways, something to do when I have signal. Look up the definition of lake and pond. What's the difference? Hmm. Oh well, never made much thought of it until now. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'll get back to it. Well, welcome back. We are at Upper Gentian Pond. Still in New Hampshire. You hear that? That's... I believe that's a squirrel. <sighs> Don't quote me on it. <laughs> I saw him going up and down the trees and stuff while I was hiking. And one was being very vocal and I was looking over at it as best as I can. And it looks like a small squirrel. Not a chipmunk, it looks like a small squirrel. Very vocal. Anyways, why Upper Gentian Pond? What's so special about this? Well, back there, somewhere where I just came from, maybe 100 yards, 200 yards, I don't know. But very close by, I exited White Mountain National Park. I am officially out of the White Mountains. That was, uh, yeah, 100 plus miles out of the White Mountains. Most scenic and most difficult part of the Appalachian Trail, in my opinion. And I'll be honest with you, it was very scenic. I got very, very lucky in the White Mountains. Yeah, I got rain, I got cold, I got high winds, I got wind bursts. I had to do rock scrambles, but also I got very, very nice weather for Mount Washington and the presidentials, weather that people only see just a few times a year. So I still count myself very lucky in that experience. All right. Well, I'm going to continue my hike today. It's like uh, just before 3 o'clock. I'm uh, just past 11 miles, so I've done my mileage for the day. Now this is just bonus. All right. Hope everybody's enjoying their Taco Tuesday. I'll check in with you later. We made it. 14.5 miles. We're on top of Mount Success. Seriously. Success. And this is the view from on top of Mount Success. We are just a little over two miles away from the main border at six o'clock. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. It's downhill. All that in front right there that I just came through, that's all mud and marsh and swampy, yeah. And, you know, my feet got wet. So, dry feet streak ended at day five. Oh well, it happens. 
Oh, the view up here is beautiful. And I'm just taking the chance of enjoying the breeze. Resting a little bit. Drying out my clothes from all the sweat. It's a good day of hiking. Now, to find a stealth spot. <laughs> 